It's Amber Jones here from Charlotte, North Carolina, class of 16 at Oakwood. Just wanted to come and give one of my favorite experiences with Coach Roddy. Um, from him being like one of my grandfather's best friends, from coaching my dad to coaching myself, Coach Roddy was nothing short of amazing. Um, but my favorite experience with Coach Roddy was my freshman year and I was just playing horrible, like horrible defense, horrible offense, horrible anything you can think of. And Coach Roddy stormed down to the bottom of the bench and said, Jones, do I need to call your father and tell him how horrible you're playing? And I was like, no, Coach Roddy, you know, we don't need to do all that. He said, well, pull it together, Dad Nabbit. Next time you do that, I'm calling your dad and your granddad. But at that moment, it just really let me know that, you know, Coach Roddy really did have your back. Um, we've said it before, but we'll say it again. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Coach Roddy. We love you. I came to Oakwood in 2012, and I remember very specifically being told to go and find a man named Coach Roddy, who was the athletic director. And I was told I could probably find him somewhere in the gym area. I usually don't do what I'm told, but this time I did, and I'm really glad that I did because something about being around Coach Roddy and him knowing you or even more knowing who your people are just gives you a sense of being home and knowing that somebody's watching out for you. Even if his expression came out in a yell, I think yelling was Coach Roddy's love language, and sometimes you got to just take it. And I, I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to meet him and have somebody like him looking out for me during my time at Oakwood. Hi, my name is Koisha, AKA Coco. And I just wanted to send my dearest condolences out to the Roddy family. Um, he will truly be missed. Um, he was very well appreciated for everything that he did for the sports programs and outside of sports at Oakwood. Just him being around, his presence was really positive. Even when he would get on our case, it was still a positive interaction. Um, I played soccer at Oakwood from 2011 to 2015 and softball from 2012 to 2015 and various intramural sports. And I did some other little side jobs for Roddy as well and just getting to know him throughout all the years I really came to appreciate him and I will truly miss him so and to my Oakwood family I send my condolences to you guys as well because I know this is hard for everybody and I love you guys hey Roddy um, many things can be said about the impact you've had on our Oakwood community and on uh, the students that have come through our university all we can say at this moment is thank you. Um, thank you for everything you taught us. Thank you for the time, the love, the advice, the guidance that you provided many generations of, of young people who come through our institution. You will be truly missed, but your impact and your legacy will live on forever through the hearts that you've empowered, to be honest. Um, thank you for everything you showed me, Roddy. I really, truly miss you. I love you, man. Here's um, my son, Brandon. Uh, unfortunately, you guys didn't get to meet. See you soon, man. Rest easy. Bye. Coach Roddy, I want to um, thank you and prayers to uh, Ms. Roddy uh, for everything you did for every person that came through Oakwood, you know, helped me get into Oakwood. Um, First day I met anybody at Oakwood was you. Um, you said happy Sabbath. I didn't know what the Sabbath was until <laughs> until I got to Oakwood. But it was a, a unique experience, and you was the reason that I even decided to come back. And um, just appreciate you, man, and thank you for everything, Miss Roddy. Um, me and Big Day go over there all the time and try to help help out you guys, but. Coach Roddy know one thing, I help him with anything, but I ain't touching them animals. You know daddy, daddy ain't playing with them animals. But Coach Roddy, um, appreciate you. You help, you help me get in Oakwood and I even produce this little thing right here. So appreciate you, man, because you, you bless so many people and all streams and everything. Man. Just thank you for everything you've done. And prayers for uh, Miss Roddy. And man, I love you forever. Appreciate you. Say thank you, Coach Roddy. Thank you, Coach Roddy. Yeah, yeah. 
We always hear that you don't know what you have until it's gone. Um, but there are some of us who know exactly what we have, while we have it, and that makes losing it a hundred times harder. Um, I never saw the day coming that we would have to say goodbye to Roddy. Um, he's always been such a strong man, and I've always just imagined him living forever. Um, so this, this comes as a surprise to me, it comes as a shock to me, um, and it hurts so bad because I've known this man for so much of my life and he's been such a big part of it. Um, he's been like a father to me, and I don't say it lightly. He's been so much more than a coach, um, than an athletic director. He's just, he's been such an amazing person in my life. Um, and I just wanna say thank you to God, thank you to him, thank you to his family um, for sharing him with us. Roddy, I appreciate you, I love you. Thank you for teaching me to catch the Dagnab and rebound, running me out of your classes. Thank you for everything, Roddy. I love you so much. Well, good afternoon there. My name is Keneal Warner. I'm class of 2015, and I'm also part of the Oakwood Ambassadors Championship team of 2012. First and foremost, I'd like to say thank you, Mr. Roddy. Thank you for teaching me the values of leadership, compassion, integrity. I walked in as a 17-year-old kid not knowing much from Harlem, New York. Fresh at Venice, I shall say. And you broke down everything to me when it comes to developing healthy habits. You taught me it's a difference between making an impact over the impressions. And I've learned those tools and I brought those tools here to Florida and became a real estate agent. It's going so much well. And I would like to say thank you for giving me open arms coming from New York. I love you. I miss you. Rest in paradise. Continue to look over me, dang nabbit. <laughs> uh, good evening. My name is Marcus Fist. I want to take um, some time this afternoon to send my thoughts and prayers to the Roddy family. Uh, Mr. Roddy was a, a great man. I must say that Ashby Auditorium has been the Roddy Dome way before my time in uh, 2008, and it will continue to be the Roddy Dome long after we're gone. Uh, Mr. Roddy was a great man. He, he, he had a personal <laughs> personal effect, his own personal touch with everyone he came in contact with. Um, I have to say that every term of endearment a, a black man used, uh, we can, we used with Roddy. Um, we love you, Miss Roddy. You know we're here for you. You've been here for my family on a personal note. And uh, we'll keep you guys in our prayers. Love you guys. Hey, Oakwood family. Uh, this is Ronald Bushner. Um, man, it's been a tough past year. And it got worse with just hearing the passing of Coach Roddy on the last day of the year. Um, so many things I could say about Coach Roddy, man. I remember the first time I met him at the age of 10. And he told me that um, when I get to Oakwood, he'll still be there. And at the age of 10, I said, no way this man is going to be there when I get there. But lo and behold, he was still there. And that's just a testament of, of Coach Roddy. Um, just strong, a strong personality, somebody who was always there um, to be able to give you words of wisdom, chastise you, but also showed you so much love that was genuine from the bottom of his heart. Right, man, we miss to the Roddy family. We love you and we're praying for you. They say legends never die. And although it saddens me that you are no longer with us, I find comfort in knowing that your legacy will live on through every player, has ever played for Oakwood and every student that you've ever coached. I'm wearing the shirt from the first time we won the USCAA championship. No one believed in us, but funny enough, I can still remember looking up at the stands and seeing you crying tears of joy as your dreams and hopes for what you've always envisioned for Oakwood were being fulfilled. And it was through those dreams and that those hopes that so many of the Adventist athletes were able, were able to fulfill their dreams and hopes of playing at the collegiate level. I want to thank you for the heart of gold that you have and for making Oakwood a better place. You will be missed, but never forgotten. Love you. Hello, my name is Bertha Bryant Roberts, and I'm here to talk about Mr. Roddy. There are generational curses and there are generational blessings. Mr. Roddy was a generational blessing. He was a blessing to me and my family. From my older brothers and sisters, to my younger brothers and sisters, to even my son, we all worked for Mr. Roddy. I love Mr. Roddy. When I first met him, he was that strange white man that I had to chase down to get a job. 
He became then my boss, then my mentor, then my friend, then part of my family. And it all happened so very quickly. Mr. Roddy was loved and he was a blessing to me, to my family and to countless other families. He was so loved and we loved him so much and he will be sorely missed. To Mrs. Roddy, I wanna say, I feel your pain. To the children, I wanna say, if you need anything, we are here. We are praying for you and we, are, we will be here. We will continue Mr. Roddy's legacy by saying his name, by telling stories about who he was and by continuing to live out his legacy. Thank you. To Ms. Roddy and the children, I would like to thank you as a family for loaning your husband and your father to students like myself over the years. As I entered Oakwood as a freshman in 1973, myself and many like me felt a welcoming spirit regarding all activities surrounding sports. Mr. Roddy's spirit of fierce competitiveness was welcomed by me. Mr. Roddy showed us through his love for sports that Christian behavior and sportsmanship should be a part of all competition. Over the years, I have come to realize those qualities were not unique to my years. Some students preceding me and many who followed me, including my own son, speak of their Roddy experiences. I am grateful for the lessons he taught me as a man among many young people who didn't look like him. Grateful for some parents long ago who somehow taught their son, people matter, get to know them. Probably about five or more years ago, Mr. Roddy called me at my home in Atlanta and asked me to look out for his daughter who was coming to the city to begin her professional career. My instant feelings were you don't have to ask me, just let me know she is here and provide some contact information. A man whose love for his wife and family resonated then and now. Prayers for Mrs. Roddy and family will be on my mind continually moving forward. Good evening, my name is Martha Rogers and uh, from Memphis, Tennessee. And I just want to say a few words about Coach Roddy and the impact that he's made on the Memphis family and the Rogers life. Uh, we thank God for him. Um, when my, um, my girls were getting ready to go to uh, college, um, you know, it wasn't no doubt that they were going to go to, to Oakwood uh, because we had developed such a relationship with Roddy and uh, with, with, with some more of the coaches there. Um, we knew where our girls were going and that, and uh, that, you know, especially Renita was going to play basketball and we knew that Roddy would look out for him. Uh, it was funny, with Alondre, uh, my sister-in-law, when we walked into the gym and uh, me and, you know, we were coaching the men's team, two ladies. I mean, he just treated us like it was, it was normal. And of course we know it wasn't, but he just, all right. Y'all finna get some of this work too, I guess. That's what he thought. And so we developed a relationship over the years. He will be missed. Um, just the impact of just, you know, the way that he walked around the campus. Like he was just one of us. Like a white dude walking around the campus. He's just one of us. Okay, that's Roddy. And, and he felt comfortable. He was comfortable in his skin. And um, he made us feel uh, loved. And he had a laundry, me and a laundry, you know, some of the teams, you know, we could do some, some, some of the things that some of the other teams couldn't do. So he had me and a laundry kind of spoil. Uh, and I just thank God for his ministry and thank God for, for him. And uh, not only do I know him, I know some of his families. I'm from Dyersburg. I know met some of his family here in, in Dyersburg as well. 
And so he will be missed, but we know that he is resting in the grave until Jesus come. And we have comfort uh, knowing that. So thank God for his ministry. Thank God for his life. Uh, and uh, we really appreciated him and the things that he did for uh, Oakwood. Uh, we thank God for that. So uh, I, I, we, he will really be missed. Um, I thank God that I actually got to know him and his family. With a heavy heart comes the passing of Mr. Roddy. And I can only reflect on the times when he was so instrumental at guiding all of us, especially to me, in paths that we didn't know we could achieve, instilling in us the idea that we could become more than what we thought. His whole family has been so special to the Oakwood experience. And at this time, our prayers go out to the family in support of a great teacher, mentor, and just a unique one-off human being that will be greatly missed. If anything is best to know is that your life was purposeful and that the absence of your spirit from our earth will be missed. Rest in peace. Good evening, everyone. My name is Alondre Rogers. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I met Mr. Roddy back in 88 when I came to Oakwood for alumni. We've been coming to alumni, the Memphis Chariot, from 88 until last year. I remember after a few years after we were successful in playing, Mr. Roddy came to me only the way Mr. Roddy can do it. Pronouncing my name wrong. Alondria, we need you to come to Oakwood to coach our women's basketball team. I know you can do this because the Lord has really blessed you to be successful and we want our young ladies to have an opportunity to play up on a good coach. He even asked me where I work. I told him I work at UPS. He told me he knew someone that worked at UPS that I can transfer down there. So I knew Mr. Roddy was serious. I'm just so grateful and thankful that I had the opportunity to meet Mr. Roddy and his family. He's sorely gonna be missed. I'm just glad the opportunity to have a person that I look forward to looking at and watching out for when I came to Oakwood, just to hear him talk about his program and how he wanted to be successful. So I know he's going to be greatly missed, and I'm so thankful to have the opportunity to have met him. Hi, my name is George Lewis, and I was at Oakwood College, and Mr. Roddy was my PE teacher and coach for a number of years. Uh, Mr. Roddy was an amazing individual and taught me more about life than he did about sports. And he was very competitive, uh, good player, good family man. And, and what I remember most about Mr. Roddy was the racial tension that was in the air at the time when I was in college. Uh, this was a white man in an all black college and I asked him a few times, you know, why are you so dedicated uh, what, what keeps you here? And he would often say, you know, George people are people, don't matter what color they are. And that is something that has stayed with me all of my life. Uh, people are people, don't matter what color they are. I, I got that from Mr. Roddy. Uh, I'll never forget it. Uh, and, and not only did he say it, he lived it. Uh, every day of his life, his hard work and dedication to the college, the students, uh, the black community there at Oakland College was amazing. And watching him be an example to what racism could or should be or how we should treat one another uh, is something I'll never forget. And Mr. Roddy, you were very special in my life and taught me a lot of things. But that's probably the thing that stood out most. Thank you for being part of my life. Thank you for who you are. Mr. Roddy is a man that I first came to know in 1981. Mr. Roddy was known all around the campus as Roddy or Mr. Roddy. Mr. Roddy had the respect of the entire campus, faculty, staff, and students. The respect which he earned. Mr. Roddy had the three things that I always remember that I felt was the most important thing that he made it very clear that he loved. Mr. Roddy loved God. 
He loved his family and he loved the entire Oakwood community. Mr. Roddy coached a team called the Ambassadors at Oakwood. Well, in my mind, Mr. Roddy was a true ambassador for God and for Oakwood University. Mr. Roddy will be missed, but I will say this, if we live our lives in accordance to God's will, we will see Mr. Roddy again. Take care and God bless.